All right, we're doing a little stump forensics here. I didn't cut this tree, I'm just a drive-by. So pretty wide open yard. And what do you notice here? That back cut is a little bit lower than the notch. And then that far corner of the hinge just cut off there. Now, if you look at it from this side, it looks like you got fairly good control out of that hinge there. You know, it was oak, not huge fibers, but he's got enough there. The truth is, it didn't really matter because he had such a wide open drop zone. But this would not be considered an, an optimal hinge if you were in a tight drop zone. You'd want to make sure that hinge was either going all the way across completely or that you matched up. If you took a little bit off of that side, you're going to take some off of this side too. And then have yourself a post in the middle evenly. But that's called a Dutchman there. This is probably an intentional Dutchman. In other words, he probably cut that corner of the hinge off on purpose because his bar was a little short here. I did that one time and done it many times in, in my earlier career, and it turned out fine. And then the one time that it didn't, that little bit of corner cut off the side of that hinge, ended up closing early and turned the tree this way like maybe 10 degrees and the tree hit a stump and rolled into a house. So that was a hard lesson learned there. Anyhow, the point I'm trying to make is you definitely want to make sure your hinge is even on both sides if you're in a tight drop zone unless you've adjusted it on purpose. This one is is not. And then the low back cut issue, really the thing with the low back cut is that when you have a low back cut, it takes more force to pull these fibers over. To, to break those fibers takes a lot more force than if the back cut is level or a little bit high. And I actually have tried to use that to my advantage in the past when, uh, to, to uh, hold more on a side of a tree that's, that's, uh, that's a side leaner. But in general, that's not what you're looking for. And one of the ways to avoid that low back cut is to learn to plunge cut. So generally, I'll make my face cut the notch there, and then I'll plunge in behind it right at the level or an inch or two of And just before you start that plunge, you want to make sure that bar is perfectly level, plunge straight in there, in, in there and usually get a pretty good effect on that. So I hope there's a couple lessons to be learned here. That's about two and a half feet there. You know, nice size tree. I don't know if that 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 that's part of it there or not. Yeah, I guess that's the other half. Maybe that's another tree over there. But anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great Christmas. Good luck with everything.